Four days. Four days. Yeah. yeah. To just show. No, if you're happy to, yeah, that'd yeah, be great. If, what we need to show is just that the head is well and truly engaged. Yeah. Like that's what I've got there. My hand on the head, and that's very low into yeah. the pelvic room. And just to show that this fundal height is dropping down because the baby's mm -hmm. so engaged. Yeah. And you're pretty pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> so lay down on your side there facing me. When somebody's this pregnant, um, the, the mum can feel like they're squashing the baby's head when the leg comes down this way. So what we can do is just scoot them back a little bit like that and let their whole body come forward. That way this leg doesn't feel like it's pushing down on the baby's head. And what we're going to adjust here is our five. Just let that leg relax like that. And we do the same thing, we just use the leg to get that into the right spot. Just back off a little bit there. It's tender, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Take our contact, draw the shoulder up a little bit, and then back it off. And we bring her over, we flare this leg into the right place, and from there, we can just support her body without putting any weight on the baby's head at all and just entirely use our hand. Good. Next we're going to adjust Natalie on a knee chest table. This was designed by Dr. Gonstead to allow the patient's abdomen to fall completely away with no resistance whatsoever. It's fantastic for pregnant women for that reason. They can rest on here comfortably and it also allows us to get a very specific correction on their vertebra, opening up the anterior joint spaces without any pressure on the spine and we get a great correction. This can happen all the way right up until the day they deliver from neck all the way down to the tailbone. The reason this is so good for pregnant ladies is it allows the tummy just to drop out of the way and just your own flexibility is the only thing that limits how much you can extend your back so you just go to where you're comfortable. Is that tender there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the thing we're going to adjust right now. Okay, we're just going to come straight onto that, open up those joint spaces a little bit and just set it down. Good, excellent. Alright, thanks buddy. You're alright to have a baby now. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. skin folds and mm. um, we'll look, see that they all match up you know that relates to leg length and hip formation and things like that but we also look for signs of you know food allergies and things like that rashes mm. under the arms and so on we look at the shape of his face and the muscles in his cheeks and the way his eyes sit and his brow and that tells me a lot about the nerves to his face and how mm. it's all everything's working like you. <laughs> you like me? You tend to get really close to them. They're a bit short-sighted. Yeah. So they can actually focus quite clearly on you if you get a bit closer. I'm just doing the normal thing that I do with you and everybody yeah. else. We look for fluid under the skin. He's got a definite problem in here, it's very obvious. Mm. Well, the problem with his back, would that be from labour? Uh, most likely labour, even the position that he was in your tummy. Mm. Uh, he's got a problem with his neck also. Um, you can kind of pick it in terms of movement, but you can also pick it in terms by looking at the way that he, he lays and he mm. sits. Yep. He always holds his head in one posture, do you notice that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes just by watching the way their head naturally turns, it can give you an indication of what position the neck's in. Yeah. 
He's really happy looking that way. Yeah. He doesn't like looking this way much at all. Even when he turn when he does turn his head this way, he gets that frown on his face and <laughs> see like that? Yeah, that frown. Yeah, he's quite happy going that way. But he just can't get his head around here at all, can he? Mm. <coughs> You're going to have to make your head come over, what do you think? The entire examination goes for a bit longer than what you saw and by this time the babies are often quite irritable, um, sometimes hungry, sometimes tired. On top of that, their in own internal wisdom, their own innate intelligence, it, it knows about this problem and has done since it was born. So the moment you put your contact on that vertebra, sometimes they can get even more irritable also. Now what you're about to see is a gentle adjustment. The left hand is just stabilising the heavy head and protecting all the good cervical vertebrae to make sure that none of them are affected by the correction. As the little baby moves his head around, I'm just going to cup it. There's no force on his head. I just need to get it into a very specific position so I can get the exact amount of nerve pressure off. And once I feel his muscles relax under my contact, I'll set it down gently. He's not in any pain whatsoever. And within seconds of the correction, you'll see him quite relaxed in his mum's arms. Yeah, just getting that bit of nerve pressure off, it's amazing. If you have a look here, these nerves from here, they come down and supply the heart and lungs, but they're a very strong nerve supply to the stomach and all the organs of the gut down to the large yeah. bowel. So it can cause a lot of colic and reflux and things like that. But um, here we go. <laughs>